Hey, John and friends, Greg from Michigan here. With Spider-Man 4 in the early planning stages, as you have reported on the show, and the fact that you've also talked about how Spider-Man could be the leader of the Avengers, or at least part of the team, do you think we see Tom Holland's Spider-Man pop up in any of the upcoming MCU slates, like a Captain America, Thunderbolt, etc.? Thanks. Bring on the filthy. All right, Greg, thanks a lot for calling that in. And yeah, listen, now Spider-Man is one of the MCU characters out there. MCU has a long tradition of having their various characters float in and out of other people's movies and projects and things like that. So having, I mean, if Tom Holland might be popping up live action in a Cross the Spider-Verse animated movie, why not the other ones? Okay, so I thought it'd be fun. Let's do a quick run through here of the movies and the TV shows coming out prior to Kang Dynasty and see... What could be the possibilities here? Okay, so Secret Invasion. I don't. He's not going to pop up in no. Secret Invasion. So we, we can say that. Loki Season 2, I don't see any reason. It would feel really shoehorned and forced to have him pop up in Loki Season 2. I don't see. So now we get into some real stuff. The Marvels. Now, Marvels takes place off-world, but a lot of it could still take place on-world. I got to say the idea of, you know... Ms. Marvel and Spider-Man interacting, pretty cool. Rob, thumbs up or thumbs down that we'll see Spider-Man in the Marvels? No. Okay, Chris? Maybe. I mean, it's just a hop, skip, and a jump from Jersey. You know, if we're popping over there. That 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 was one of my other yeah. thoughts as well. Okay, so we'll got, we've got two maybes and a no. All right. X-Men 97, obviously. He wasn't even he born. He wasn't even born. That's not, what if we can just put aside, that's just animated, they can do whatever. Echo. Um, Echo is an interesting thing. Now, I could say this, depending on when Echo comes out, because right now we have no idea. It's, it's been pulled off of its original release date. We don't know when for sure it's coming out. But if it's setting up something in Daredevil Born Again, then that's maybe something that they could touch on. But I'm going to go no, he won't pop up in Echo. Rob? Probably not, because they have to establish Echo as her own character. Yeah, without doing a lot of distraction. Yeah. All right, Chris? I don't think so. We've already got all the Daredevil folks in there. Okay. Well, now we get into Ironheart, um, which is an interesting thing. We're talking about a character that has some similarities to a Peter Parker, young college age person, super intelligent, into science. Um, both use Iron Man Jr. outfits, uh, although Spider-Man no longer does. I There is some natural connection there, but I'm going to say no on Ironheart. What about you, Rob? I think no, too. I'm going no on Ironheart because right. again they have to establish this character. Yep, you know, yeah, because she's coming out out of somebody else's movie. Yeah. They got to get her grounded. But 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 to paint devil's advocate for a second, when Spider Man, Tom Holland Spider Man, had his first movie, they didn't just let him get grounded because it was co-starring Iron Man, right? So I mean, maybe I mean I agree with you. I don't think he's, he's going to pop up in Ironheart, but I mean. Maybe we're overplaying the idea that they need to establish it because they did the opposite in Spider-Man, the first one. Anyway, I don't know, Chris, what do you think? I think there's the potential for Peter to show up in there. Ooh. Not Spider-Man, okay. but Peter. And I think people need to start knowing Peter Parker, and I think that's a really, really great way to do that. That's interesting. I'd buy that. Okay, next one up is Agatha, Coven of Chaos, which, of course, just got pulled off of its release date. We don't know when that's coming out now. I, I say this one, 0% chance, Rob. I agree, zero. Okay, and Chris? Absolutely not. Okay, no change. This is this is not a fit there. All right, now we get into an interesting one here. With Daredevil Born Again, uh, which is, do we have my screen available? Or is the thing gone off? There it is. Daredevil Born Again, coming in spring of 2024 now is when they're saying it. Now, this is one a lot of people have been saying they would like to have. They're, they're, a lot of the fans are saying they would love to see Spider-Man and Daredevil. While I respect that, I don't see them using any appearances in Tom Holland's contract for a Disney Plus show. I, I just, while it would be a really neat match to see, I do not think they're going to use Spider-Man and Daredevil Born Again. Rob, what do you think? I don't think so at all. Again, the storyline, Daredevil has crossed over with Spider-Man many times in the comics, but I don't think in this, if they're going to skew more towards the actual Born Again storyline, which, you know, they always change it up, but... I just don't think Spider-Man has a place in that storyline. Chris? To Rob's point, I don't think the 
Spider-Man we know can exist in that very gritty world right now if they go that route. However, same with the kind of Marvel situation. I like the idea of Spider-Man being a friendly neighborhood fighter again. And I think it would make sense for somebody to meet another fighter from a, a different borough. So I think there's room there. Okay. Next up, we've got Captain America, the New World Order with Sam Wilson. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but in the big, one of the, probably the greatest action sequence in comic book movie history, the airport fight scene in Civil War. We had Bucky and Sam fighting Spider-Man in that there. I mean, we've got a, a new Captain America. I, you know what? This, to me, has one of the biggest potentials. I think there's a very natural fit in there for something like this. Um, I'm going to say it's a coin toss that Spider-Man pops up in Captain America, a uh, new world order, because they're going to look for... to. Marvel, I believe, is going to be looking to give Anthony Mackie's Sam Wilson a bump. And I think a popular character like a Spider-Man popping in could help, much like them having Iron Man pop up in Spider-Man. So out of any on the list, I think this has the biggest chance. We want to take a second to thank a sponsor of this video, Mint Mobile. If saving more and spending less is one of your top goals for 2023, why are you still paying insane amounts of money every month for your phone bill? Switching to Mint Mobile is the easiest way to save this year. As the first company to sell premium wireless service online only, Mint Mobile lets you order from home and save a ton with phone plans starting at just 15 bucks a month. You guys know I made the switch over to Mint Mobile a while ago. The process couldn't have been easier and I can't believe that I am spending less than a third of what I was spending on one of the other major carriers before. By going online only and eliminating the traditional costs of retail, Mint Mobile passes the significant savings on to you. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, and high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and switch easily in minutes with eSIM. To get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door free, go to mintmobile.com slash campia that's mintmobile.com slash campia cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia anyway rob what do you think well it could but I, I see this as being more of a captain america winter soldier movie i would imagine that it's going to be serious dealing with politics and maybe and uh, i don't it, it really depends like i don't have a sense to me i would skew the other way and say probably not only because it, it sounds to me with president ross being thunderbolt ross being president that they've got a lot this is going to be a very serious minded movie and the, my problem with the spider-man appearance it's lighthearted. it's inherently lighthearted because of the kind of character spider-man is and if they're going in more of the 70s political thriller route and if you look at the three previous Iron Man, I mean, uh, Captain America movies. I know Spider-Man was in Civil War, but that worked because there was all these other characters in Civil War. I think uh, New World Order is going to be a very serious movie. No, now, No Way Home, we saw Peter get pretty damn serious a few times. No, it's true. It's true, but, but within the context of his own life. Okay. So, but I, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe. I just don't have a sense of what New World Order is one way yeah. or another. Yeah, another It's way. hard to say because, like, I, with you... I liked when Spider-Man interacted with all those characters. And I liked, you know, but it, if New World Order is more of a winter soldier than it is, I don't know if there would be a place for him in that kind of movie. Chris, what do you think? A possibility for Spider-Man in a Captain America New World Order? I can see it making sense because I do feel like ultimately they're going to position Sam and Peter in those kind of Tony and, uh, and Steve roles and have them at the forefront of the Avengers. But I think Sam has spent so much time sharing the spotlight, even in his own show, that he really needs to have his own film. Because I think right now, we still don't even see him as Captain America. We still see him as the Falcon or the guy trying to be Captain America, since that's what the show was entirely about, was like earning that mantle, feeling comfortable in that mantle. I think he needs to be center stage, and I think a cameo or having Peter have a significant role in there would really muddle that. So I don't uh, to, see him to going there. To that point, Anthony Mackie just did an interview where he kind of hinted at that he doesn't think Sebastian Stan is going to be in Captain America 4. He says he hasn't read a script yet, but he doesn't think Sebastian Stan is going to be in Captain America yeah. 4. So that goes right to your point. Which leads us, speaking of Bucky, into a movie I am really starting to get quite excited about, actually, which is Thunderbolts. Of course, Bucky is in that. We're going to have a lot of characters in there. There could be room for... Like, I, I go back to the first Ant-Man movie where Falcon made an appearance, right? I could sort of see maybe a Spider-Man kind of appearance, 
like that. Uh, again, I, I wouldn't put big money on it. Actually, I would say I don't think Spider-Man is going to pop up in there, but there certainly is some room in there for it, Rob. Maybe, uh, again, I think with this team, with the Thunderbolts team, you're going to be concentrating on that team dynamic and building what that is. And if you bring in a hero that's not part of that team, I think it distracts. But again, I don't know. Maybe they go to Spider-Man and try and recruit him. And he says no. Mm. You know, kind of like Wolverine and X-Men First Class. Oh, that scene is so good. You know, I could see that happening, but I'll talk more about that when we get two more down. Yeah. Chris, what do you think? Thunderbolts with Spider-Man in it. I feel like that's already overstuffed, especially we're talking about some casting news in a little while, too. I think yep. adding Spider-Man to the mix, it's too many people. Okay. Next up, Blade. I, I give this one a zero. Uh, not, not, not because it's a new character he's got to establish. Again, we've seen Marvel do that, but because I... I don't see anything now. Well, John, in the comics, there's like, I understand that. But in the MCU, I just don't see a matchup here. Rob? No. Just zero. No. <laughs> like you. Zero Chris? chance. I loved when Blade was in the animated Spider-Man series, and I would absolutely kill for a, well, gosh, I don't know, Mr. Vampire Hunter, sir, but I don't think it's going to happen. Now, to be, you know, for people say, well, Blades are, of course you get, well, Remember, Blade's not going to be R in the MCU. So I'm sure it's be more edgy than most of the stuff they do. All right. Well, this is one that I think is, might be at the top of a lot of people's list as far as possibilities. I think the one they really want to see is him cross over with Daredevil, but I think a lot of people are going to see the possibilities here for Deadpool 3. Deadpool 3 is clearly a multi-reality romp, uh, and so the possibility of Peter in that, I just think this thing is already... Now, look, Patrick Stewart has more than implied that Professor X is going to be in this thing, He's also kind of dropped little hints that we could see Ian McKellen's Magneto in there. Obviously, the two big stars are going to be Ryan Reynolds and Hugh Jackman. Is there room for a Spider-Man to pop up? And remember, we're not talking about main characters here. We're even talking in small cameos. Do you think there's room for a Spider-Man to pop up I there? think we're going to see all three Spider-Man in this movie. Oh. I do. I think that Ryan Reynolds, is whatever, the, whatever Ryan Reynolds dreams up, he's going to go make happen because this movie is going to be, uh, whatever it's going to be, it's going to be out of control bonkers and i think that even if it's just one scene or something even if he kills all three spider-men i don't know i think <laughs> i, I think happen. they're gonna bring back all of them and do a scene because why wouldn't you if you're if you're ryan reynolds and you're bringing back daredevil they're just gonna i'm sure they're just thinking shit up you mean, go, you mean uh wolverine or, uh, well pardon me wolverine yes did i say daredevil yes that you've unless, got unless you know something we don't no, know I, no i don't i don't i don't but I think that, that Deadpool, when you're making this movie, he's going to be able to do whatever. <laughs> I don't know anything. <laughs> I don't know anything. Um, uh, I, I don't know, but I think that if he thinks stuff up, they're going to do it. Because Kevin Feige is the kind of guy that they're allowing him to make this movie in the first place. I'll bet Ryan Reynolds just calls up Kevin Feige and throws out ideas. And, and Feige's like, sure, let's do that. Because why not? All right, Chris, what do you think? Could we see the web have pop up in the Merc with a Mouths movie? I'm kind of with Rob here. If you're familiar with Deadpool and Spider-Man in the comics, I mean, they have a very contentious, often one-sided sexual relationship. <laughs> I think you could have some hilarious jokes, especially if it's all three of them, of Ryan Reynolds just being like, is it my birthday? <laughs> it's going to be great. <laughs> I'm here for it. All right. Uh, we will not talk about Spider-Man freshman year, obviously. Do you um, think he's in it? What's that? Do you think Spider-Man since Spider-Man freshman year? No chance. Okay. No cool. chance. They're going to focus completely on Professor Connor. It's a prequel series. It's just to, Connor and to Ned. Peter getting to school. It's going to be all about that. <laughs> all right. Now that brings us to the last one, which Spider-Man has been a member of the Fantastic Four. Um, Bombastic Bagman. What's that? Bombastic Bagman. That's, that that's who he is. Oh, I yeah. did not know that. He puts on a, a paper bag. I don't. I don't even remember yeah. that one. Um, so I don't see it happening. I mean, I think there's so much to do in Fantastic Four that I don't know if a Spider-Man appearing in there makes sense. But I mean, historically, there's precedent for it. Uh, Rob, what do you think? Uh, again, I don't know what they're going to do with Fantastic Four. I would, I would, I would say probably not only because, and if anything, it's going to be a post credit scene or something that might lead into Kang Dynasty. Because I just think that they won. They have to establish that the uh, Marvel's first family within the MCU. And that's a lot of work. And when you bring in a cameo like this, that overshadows what you're trying to do. Because, you know, they know how the fans, oh my God, Spider-Man's in it. And that, what I want is a great Fantastic Four movie. 
That's all I want from this movie. I don't need to see Spider-Man in it. Chris? Again, I go back to Peter showing up, not Spider-Man. I think Peter Parker has a reason to be in the Baxter building or pop on a Zoom call or like be in Nose some read. kind of seminar. You know, one of yeah. those kinds of things. I can see that. All right, guys. Question is for you. We just went through a lot there. What film or television series coming up in Marvel prior to Kang Dynasty do you think we could possibly maybe <laughs> see a Peter Parker slash Spider-Man pop up in? Whether it's just a cameo or a small part. Maybe all of them, maybe none of them, maybe one or two. Whichever ones you think, jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts.